effort to keep you slim. We are going to work you out. I'm here today at Coralgy with Sarah Mart. Sarah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now, Sarah, there's so many different ways to work out. You have sort of a Pilates method with the machines, and you're going to actually take us through a workout today. But talk about why you think that this is a better workout than something else. So what we offer here is the SPX Pilates method. We're the only studio in the South Bay to offer this exercise on the mega formers. Okay. So what this is, is it's the most efficient, effective workout for your body. It's great for toning, slimming, tightening up the whole body. Men and women love the workout. Um, what we do here is we work with a system of springs. Okay. So you're using your own body weight as resistance. You're also using the resistance of the springs. So you can adjust this for any fitness level. Um, it's a completely customizable workout. So in 45 minutes, we get head to toe, every muscle group. We work it to muscle failure and we have great results. You know, it's kind of amazing because when we think about like sort of the old ways to work out when we were either doing aerobics or we were weight training and all that's so great as well, but this is more sort of based on a yoga workout, which has been around forever, uh, but we don't hear about Pilates maybe in the last five years more than we ever did. Yeah, so Pilates has a reputation with a lot of people as being a slow, kind of easy workout. Yeah, until you do it, <laughs> don't try it at home alone, right? It's a complete <laughs> misconception. This is one of the toughest workouts. Yes. That that I've ever done. Uh, it's so great for the core, but it's also great for every muscle group. Okay. So whether you're looking to kind of lean the body out without adding excess bulk, or whether some of the men are looking to actually add the strength, you can do both of those with the SPX workout. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get involved in this fitness routine? So I grew up as a professional dancer. Okay. I've done every workout under the sun. Okay. Um, it's my job to stay in shape. Sure. After I had my daughter, uh, it was really hard for me to bounce back and I found that traditional workouts just weren't doing it for me. I also didn't have enough time to be spending four hours at the gym. I had to find a workout that would get the results I needed right. and in the amount of time that I could afford to spend. So the SPX workout by far has changed my body quicker and faster than any other workout has. Interesting. Now, we are not going to use the machines today because Sarah's going to take us through a workout you can actually do at home. But if you want to, of course, come down to Coreology, you can try out the machines and Sarah will work you out. But Sarah, it's time to work out, so let's go in the other room. All right, let's go. So hi, guys. For those of you working out at home, a few things to set you up. You're going to want a water bottle so you can stay hydrated during our workout. You also want to get a stick, so if you have something like a broomstick, maybe um, something else that you can hold onto, if not the edge of a table or a chair, something like that would work as well. Grab yourself a little hand towel, if you don't have a towel around, maybe a shirt or something that you can hold onto there. So we're going to start with a light warm up. You want the stick right in front of you so that you can use it to balance. You want your heels together, toes apart. We're making a V with our feet. Our legs are nice and straight. Our belly button is tucked in and our rib cage is closed. So nice, strong posture here. We're coming up onto our tippy toes as high as we can, back down onto the heels. We're gonna repeat this up and down, up and down, making sure the whole time you're coming all the way up on those tippy toes, legs are nice and long, reaching up through the crown of the head. The belly button is tight, the abs are turned on. Start out nice and slow, getting the legs warmed up, then we'll pick up the speed, up and up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it at the top, lift those heels up as high as you can, just a light touch on your bar. Find your balance here, go ahead and turn your head to the side. See if you can hold that balance, keeping those legs nice and straight. Head to the other side, hold it tight. From here, go ahead and look up to the ceiling and bring chin to the chest, look down to the floor. If you're able to, take one hand off of your pole, see if you can hold your balance right there. Keep those heels up nice and high. Switch hands if you can. You should be feeling that burning sensation in your calves. We're going to finish this off with 10 more raises, so bringing those heels down and up, 9, up, 8, 7, 6, keep going, 5, 4, 3, 2, finishing here. See if you can pick up one of your legs up off the floor, just a light touch using that pole for balance, hold it here, find your balance there, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, 
two, and switch sides. I know it's burning by now. Stay strong, stay with it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and place the heels down. Bend the knees so you can get a stretch all the way down the calves. Good job. Open your legs up. This is a ballet second position where your heels are slightly wider than your hips. Your knees and your toes stay in one straight line and we're opening those knees out to the sides. We're coming all the way down in our plie. We have that pull for balance if we need it. From here, we're going to do tiny little plie pulses. So keeping the belly button engaged, keeping the rib cage closed, shoulders down and your spine stays nice and straight. We're just pulsing down and down, warming up all the way through the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, the whole entire leg is working here. Abs are definitely on the whole time, so you don't want to lean forward and you don't want to arch your back. Make sure your spine stays straight up and down. Hold it here, down, eight, seven, as low as you can get, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it at the bottom. Go ahead and bring those heels up. If your legs start to shake, you know you're doing it right. Go down a little bit deeper, hold it right here. If you can, you're gonna lift your stick up and see if you can hold your balance just like this. Go back to those little pulses, the heels stay high. Almost there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last hold as low as you can. You should definitely be feeling this by now. Keep holding, holding, holding. Legs are shaking, good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're moving on to a single leg lunge. So turn yourself to the side. Make sure that your toes are lined up facing the same direction. We're bending this back knee down to 90 degrees and we're pulsing the bottom here. So make sure this front knee stays right on top of the heel. You don't want this front knee to go forward. So you're dropping that body weight straight down, coming straight up. Get as low as you can. You want that back knee to almost touch the floor. You should be feeling this in the front leg especially. So press that front foot down through the floor. Really feeling this in the thighs. Keep going down here. We're staying here for a few more seconds. Get nice and low. Remember to keep breathing. Keep the abs turned on. Keep that spine nice and long. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it at the bottom. We're gonna hold an isometric hold here. If you can, if you're more advanced, go ahead and pick your stick up. Also pick your front heel up off the floor. See if you can hold that position here. Get both heels nice and high, sit down a little lower. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put that down. Go ahead and put your stick down on the floor. We're moving on to a mat, or if you have carpet, anything that's soft on your knees, go ahead and place those elbows down on the floor. This is called a donkey kick. We're still working that left leg or whichever leg you had in front for your lunges. Take that toe up to the ceiling. We're having a 90 degree bend at our back leg and we're pressing that foot up Make sure that you're not letting the back arch, so you're pulling the abs up and in. Hold it here, keep pressing that foot nice and high. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You want your spine nice and straight. Imagine that you're kicking the ceiling tiles up with that leg, so pressing up through the roof. You should be feeling this in the back of that leg, right in the glutes, right in that spot where the hamstrings meet the glutes. Keep pressing up. Be aware that you're not arching that lower back so the abs are always turned on. Stay like this. The higher you press, the more you're engaging the back of that leg. So really reach up with that toe. From here, we're going to a full range of motion. So you wanna take that knee, tap your mat or tap your floor, then kick all the way up. Coming down to tap, all the way up. See if you can get a light tap on the floor and a full extension. All the way here, last 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it at the top, hold it there, squeeze it tight. Go ahead and straighten that back leg, come up onto your hands, reach your opposite hand forward, see if you can hold your balance here. Imagine you're reaching that back toe way back behind you, that front arm comes all the way forward, reaching in opposition, holding that belly button up high, reach long, hold it, hold it, hold it, and slowly relax. Take a quick stretch back, stretch out that leg. We're gonna stand up and do it all over on the other side. Here we go. So grab your stick. This time you have your opposite leg in front. So whichever leg you worked on that side, we're switching now. Starting with that isometric lunge. So coming down, 90 degree bend at the back leg. Make sure that front knee stays over the heel. We're not letting it go over the toe. From here, we'll pulse down, down. As deep as you can, you're dropping your body weight right in the center, reaching that back knee down to the floor. Abs are turned on, shoulders are down. See how low you can get. If you're less advanced, if you're a beginner, you can stay at the top of this move. If you're more advanced, you can come all the way down to the floor, all the way up. Hold it here, a few more seconds, all the way down. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold it at the bottom. Go ahead and lift that front heel up. Pick up your stick. See if you can find your balance here. Drop the hips a little lower. Keep holding, holding, holding. Squeeze nice and tight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Go ahead and put that stick down. We're coming down to our donkey kicks on the right side now or whichever leg you had in front. So taking that toe, pressing up towards the ceiling, making sure you maintain that 90 degree bend with the back leg. Keep reaching that toe up, squeezing the back of that leg tight. Make sure again that you're not arching the back. So pull the abdominals up away from your shirt up away from your pants so you're holding that stomach in nice and tight keep reaching up out of the shoulders so all of your body weight is coming up off of that mat or up off of your floor keep pressing with that toe all the way up to the ceiling last 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 Two, now we're gonna tap the mat and kick all the way up. All the way down, reach up, all the way down. As high as you can go, light tap on the floor, all the way up. Last 10, this is nine. Keep reaching up there, eight. Give me seven more, six. Last five, four, three. Two, now hold it at the top, squeeze that leg nice and tight, keep reaching up, 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 up. Go ahead and straighten that back leg, come up onto your hands. The opposite arm is reaching forward. So really work the power of opposition here. That back toe reaches back as far as it can. That front arm reaches forward, the belly button is pulled up and in nice and tight, keep holding there. Find your balance. If you're having a hard time balancing here, you can place that hand back down on the mat. Otherwise, leave it up there. Last couple seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down, quick stretch. If you need to take a sip of water, go ahead and take a sip of water. We're moving on to our arms now. So with this mat, grab a hold of your towel that you're using or any kind of t-shirt, anything that you can hold on to. We're starting with a simple push-up. You have two options here. So option number one is to do a full push-up on your toes. So make sure your body is in one straight line. We're going to bring our chest all the way down to the floor. Exhale as you press up. Option number two is to drop down to your knees. Make sure that your body is still in one straight line as you bring your chest all the way down to the floor and push up. If that's still too hard for you, 
walk your hands back so that you're in a tabletop position and then bring your chest down and press up. So work to whatever level you're capable of. We're going to start with 10 push-ups here. Ready? One, push up, two, go, three, four, halfway there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, get ready, we're gonna hold it at the bottom, so hovering right over the floor, make sure your chest is up off the floor, your nose is up off the floor, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and lie all the way down, grab that towel or that shirt that you have. We want to make sure that you're holding this towel at shoulder distance. So that means that your hands are holding right out, maybe slightly wider than your shoulder. So if you're at home, let's make sure we get this right. The towel should be tight the whole time, so you never want that towel to go slack. Always pulling those hands apart. From here, we're going to pull that towel into our chest and then take it forward, holding that towel tight the whole time. So if you notice that you're starting to uh, loose loosen up your grip, make sure you're pulling tight. So we're down on our stomach, our chest is lifted, our shoulders are down out of the ears. We're going to reach those arms out, exhale as we pull that towel right into our chest, reach out, exhale, pull in. Holding that towel nice and tight the whole time, really squeezing through the back, through the shoulders, Keep pulling here. You want that chest lifted up off the floor. Your neck is in line with the spine. So you're looking at the floor right in front of you. Pull all the way in. Take it long. Good, 10 more here, last 10. I make sure that my feet are down on the floor. So I'm not lifting my feet up the floor, up off the floor. I'm keeping my spine nice and long. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm holding these arms nice and long. I'm just doing little lifts here. Little up, up. I'm really working the back of my back. I'm working my shoulders. My neck stays long. Keep holding that towel nice and tight. Don't let it go loose. Last four, three, two, and one, pull that towel nice and tight. We're pulsing down, down, squeezing the shoulder blades together behind us. Keep pulling that towel close to you. Hold it nice and tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, stretch those arms out. We're going back into our push-ups. We'll finish up with the same 10 push-ups that we had before. Here we go, 10, nine, really sculpting nice definition in those arms, seven, six, last five, bring that chest all the way down, four, three, two, get ready, we're gonna hover and hold as low as you can get this time, all the way down there, four, three, two, and one, good job. Come all the way up. We're going to stretch these arms out. So bring one arm across. Good, and take it up and over. Nice stretch. Switch sides, bring the arm across the body. And take it up and over. Good job. So now we've worked out our legs, we've worked out our arms. We're gonna finish with the core. We're gonna start in our plank position. So you have two options in your plank position depending on your fitness level. Option number one is to have your hands down on the mat, your elbows down on the mat, and your toes up on the floor. Your body's in one straight line, the belly button is lifted up to the spine. If you feel any pressure in your lower back, you'll come down to your knees. Maintain that hip position right in line with the knees, in line with the shoulders. So you don't want to break at the hips and you don't want to let the back sink down. 
So the abs are held in nice and tight. We're going to hold it here. If you're more advanced, you're up on the toes. I'll show you the beginner version. So holding it here, you wanna get a good 30 seconds to about a minute in your plank position. We'll keep breathing, pressing down into the elbows, lifting up out of the shoulders, holding the belly button up away from the t-shirt, up away from your pants. So you wanna create space between your abdominals and your pants or your abdominals and your shirt. Holding it nice and high here, squeezing that abdominal wall together. Keep breathing. Feel almost as if your body weight is hovering up on top of the carpet, up on top of your mat. We have a few more seconds to go, bringing all of that body weight into the core of the body, squeezing tight. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, now that we're nice and warmed up, we're gonna finish with some basic crunches. So lying down on your back, make sure that your lower back is in contact with the floor. You never want your lower back to come up off the floor. So the whole time throughout this series, that lower back is down, the hips are tilted up to engage your abdominals. Take your hands behind your neck, elbows are nice and wide. We're never pulling on our neck, we're always lifting up with the abs. Each time you come up, we're going to exhale, blow all of that air out, trying to push the abdominals down. We want to train our stomach to do what we want it to do. We all want it to go in, we don't want it to go out. So exhale up, squeeze tight, come down nice and slow, exhale up. We'll do 10 here, we have eight more, eight, seven. Keep dropping that belly button down, six. Here's five. Exhale, four. Give me your last three. This is two. Come up, we're going to hold it at the top here. Lift that chest nice and high. Little lifts up. Exhale, up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's hold it at the top. Squeeze tight, squeeze the abdominals nice and tight. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And come down. Lift that left leg up to the ceiling. We're finishing our crunches here. One leg is reaching all the way up. Try to get your chest up off the floor. Shoulder blades lifted high. Squeeze tight for eight, seven, six, five, four. Really feeling those abdominals. Three, two. Let's hold it high. Squeeze tight, squeeze tight, squeeze tight. Take this top leg six inches off the floor. If you feel your lower back coming up, then lift that left leg a little higher until you can keep your lower back down on the floor. From here, we're going to bring that knee into the chest and then kicking long. Exhale, pull the knee to the chest, take it long. Remember, my lower back stays down the whole time. It's not coming up. Knee to the chest, keep lifting higher and higher each time all the way up. Couple more here, four, three, Two, let's hold that knee in, squeeze tight, hold it, hold it, hold it. Try to drop that belly button down, 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 and relax, finishing with the other side. So right leg starts straight up to the ceiling, finish those crunches each time you come up. That belly button is sinking down, exhale, lifting up off the floor. Remember not to start pulling on the neck. Keep breathing here. Let's go four. Three, two, we're going to hold it all the way up as high as we can get, pushing that belly button down, 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 squeezing tight, and relax. Take that right leg six inches off the floor. If the lower back is coming up, we're gonna lift that leg a little bit higher. Pulling that knee into the chest, take it long, keep that lower back down the whole time. Make sure you exhale, blow that air out as you bring that knee in. Exhale, squeeze. Four more here, four. Let's go three, two. 
Final one, come all the way up as high as you can. Hold that knee in tight, squeeze the abdominals. Hold, 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 and release. Finish strong with a nice stretch. Let's take those toes out, reach the hands behind us. Nice deep breath, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Good job, slowly roll yourself up off the floor. Good work. If you want more of this workout or any of our other workouts, you can come on by Corology Fitness. We're on Deep Valley Drive right next to the appetizer or you can check out our class schedule online at corologyfitness.com. Mm -hmm.